I've had an email from someone who has just bought himself a microphone. It's a Rode NT1, very uh, decent mic. And he wants to know whether he should get a shock mount for it. But he also wants to know what it is, how it works, and whether he really needs one. Let's dive in and take a look. Hello, I'm Gary. I'm a British voiceover coach and I teach beginners how to get into the voiceover industry. I hope you're in fine voice. A shock mount. What is it? Well, it's this thing, really. And you'll see it around a microphone or some microphones. It's basically got, I'll just hold that closer to the camera. You can see it's got these pieces of elastic on it and a hole for the mic to go in. That's what it looks like, and this is how it fits into your microphone. So here's the mic here. This one's got two squeezers on it, if I can find them. And then the mic simply drops into the holder there, and you get that sort of configuration. So what's it used for? Well, really it's used for a couple of things. Firstly, uh, let's describe what it's doing. It's stopping the vibrations and or reducing them anyway because the mic will sit snugly in there but it's not a hard uh, fit in terms of the mic what it's doing is kind of giving it a little leeway and these uh, these elasticated pieces are absorbing some of the external sound energy that might come in the unwanted uh, energy that might come in and by that i mean if you are, say, recording in a room with a wooden floor or with a floating floor rather than a solid floor, so say you're up in a bedroom or something like that, you might get someone walking around. Uh, I'm up in a, an attic room here. So people tend to, well, I say people, I mean my family <laughs> tend to walk around or the cats tend to walk around. And sometimes that vibration can be felt through the floor and will actually hit the mic. Now, if you didn't have a, a shock mount on there, it might be that it picks up some of the unwanted vibrations and it would sound, you'd get some sort of background noise in there that you wouldn't want really. So it's trying to protect the mic to a large extent from these unwanted noises, these unwanted vibrations that you're getting. Now, the other thing that can happen is that you can hit the mic, you can hit the mic stand. Let me just show you this, which is a mic on a stand here if I bring this this over and this has got a shock mount on it as you can see and occasionally when you're reading your scripts you might end up just hitting the mic very very slightly and if you didn't have this shock mount on it because the condenser mics are so sensitive you'd hear a, ding, a little little sound a little tapping noise of you hitting the mic stand by mistake, and it may even be at the bottom of the stand or wherever. Now, the idea behind a shock mount is that it will actually absorb that sound, absorb some of that energy, and you won't hear it quite so much. And in fact, it may even remove that sound completely. If you didn't have it, as soon as you tapped the mic stand, it would the, the sound would transfer up the tube and straight into the mic, straight into the diaphragm, and it would hear it and be unwanted. Now, that's not to say, even if you've got a shock mount, you can go around hitting the mic stand. You can't, because if you tap it too loud, it's going to be picked up at the end of the day. But that is certainly, the shock mount will certainly help to dampen that, that noise, and certainly slight light taps uh, on, on the mic stand should be absorbed by the shock mount. So is it worth getting one? I think, yes, definitely, it certainly is. It will make a difference. And anything that reduces extraneous sound on your recordings is to be welcomed. So some microphone packages come with a shock mount. They're, they're already there. Others don't, so you'll have to buy one uh, as a little extra, optional extra. But certainly, I would recommend having one for your voiceover recordings. All right, hope that helps. Look after your voice and see you next time.